Alright, we're at Coral Square Mall, we're sneaker hunting. Folks came out today, we're gonna try to jump on them, man. Couldn't get them on the sneaker app. I'm gonna make an exchange or some other stuff, but we're gonna try to grab these votes, man. Hopefully, we get two sizes. Let's see what happens. Sneaker hunter, y'all. Let's go. So, team, it looked like the hunt has failed on the first attempt, but I see in this game, I'm gonna have to make relationships. Young Goob, the god, is gonna have to put that copper wrench is smooth on, you know what I'm saying, in order for me to really cop what I want when I want it, make some relationship in these stores, so when I come in here, they at least know who the God is, y'all start bigging me up, we start bigging each other up, we're gonna find a way to cop some shit, man, let's go. But in the meantime, try to find something to exchange, these four, you know what I'm saying, see how it works. All right, Ed Max, I'm not into the vapors, even though I should, I want a pair, but not right now. They're gonna have to come down on them prices. I ain't willing to do that. More Air Max 97s. My trade-in value is not that high. Oh, I like these. Hmm. Air Max 90s with the gum bottom, all white, clean. It's a possibility. They're going for 120. They got the other color, that blue colorway as well. They got all white 97s. They got these black hip, I mean, black heavies, these black space heavies on sale for a hundo. Might be a trade in possibility. You see these everywhere. These are pants. There's something about them. You know what I'm saying? I just don't get them. That's probably the best color I've seen in this. It actually isn't a bad color, but I see this color a lot at the outlets. You might take a look at those. I'm not trying to get some of those trash shoes. I don't want to pay too much. Hirachis, Champions, what are those? Balenciaga, I guess. Stop trying, man. I believe these are Challengers or Pegasus, you see? Yeah, the Challenger. The Challenger, I, I like that shoe. I actually like the thick of red on the tab. I got something in my hand, I really can't grab the shoe. But I don't think I'm gonna go with that. I just got a very similar type 79 running shoe, kick around. Uh-oh, we see some bread one lows. Wonder if they have any of these in my size. 90, it's a possibility. Also, the mids, who knew that these were up? I'm gonna check and see if those are here as well. Who knew finish line was gonna have something for us to look at? I actually have these original retros Mine are beat, but I like them. They also have these bread loaves. These might be the reverse. Yeah, these are the reverse, because they got that, I remember the dude was telling, doing the descript, they got that trim on the top. We are gonna see what it look like. Stand by. So the legacies, I've been seeing them. The dude has allowed me to record his foot. Thank you very much, sir. I've been seeing them on GOAT. Thinking about copping, but in person they look better than they do on the app. That's what's up. So in hand, the leather is smooth. Actually, a pretty good leather. You can see the tumble, that buttery in the quality shoe. I like the flip out of the tongue or the of the eyelet. I can't show you. I got the camera in my hand, but you can see the separation. It's a floss shoe. The gold with the bolt may throw some of y'all off, but if you got an opportunity to grab, it's worth grabbing. The tongue is pretty dope. The new, the tongue is the new, is the new out, new midsole bolts in hand. All right, so we didn't make the exchange, but got a little something, you know what I'm saying? Pop it up when we get to the crib. Let the team know what I found on the hunt. Yeah, God, the hunter. Back at it. Yeah. What up, sneaker hunters? I'm back at the crib with the cop from the Coral Square Mall. Hit up the finish line, which going after the votes. Didn't quite hit the votes like I wanted to. Was seeing if somebody was going to be slipping on something. But 
We might run back out there at 5 o'clock, see if anybody don't pick up their raffle. But we did get a few gems. We got a jewel, a uh, jewel or two, I should say. And we also got a gift. All right, we're going to start with this first box. As you can see, smaller than the other boxes. This was a gift that I picked up for someone. <clears throat> GS size. It is officially the University Blue and White Low Top Jordan Retro 1. Very nice shoe for a Retro 1, a low top. Nothing overly, uh, the quality is not overly superior. Uh, very, very typical Retro 1. I think this came before with a black box on the side or a black side panel with a blue Nike check, similar to uh, the Breads. This is kind of like the alternate to that colorway. But, nice little shoe for the pickup. Building out their collection. Now to something I picked up. Because I couldn't cop the votes, I couldn't come home empty handed. So like I said, came home with some alternate breads in the low top retro one alternate bread colorway. Like I said before, in the breads, the side panel is this. This side panel is black with the Nike check being red. Uh, also, along the tongue, that is all black. I, was, I saw a video with somebody comparing the two of them. And uh, the black tongue with the red trim would look good on the bread if it had that effect. This shoe is dope. I'm building out my collection, you know what I'm saying? What I can cop, I can cop. What I can get lucky on the sneakers app, I caught the, uh, hit another L on the sneakers app for the votes. So I wasn't able to cop those. The last pickup for the day, <clears throat> not quite my size, but my speed. Yes, the uh, black and hyper blue, we used to call them royal blues, but now hyper blue retro one mid. A beautiful shoe, just in colorway, you know what I'm saying? Uh, once again, it's a mid, so the quality is not over the top. Nothing, yeah, the leather, relative to that common Nike leather, nothing about that, the stamp, the Jordan stamp on the side. Actually a size 13, a little bit bigger than what I'm used to. I'm gonna hold on to them for a while, possibly. You know what I'm saying? See if I can get off on them, exchange them, or trade them to my size. The release date on these is actually February 2nd, so I don't know why they were in the store. That's why I grabbed them. I didn't know if they were making a mistake. I was like, let me just get my hands on them before I can't get my hands on them and try to work my way to what I really, or what my size truly is. So, yeah, nice little pickup from the finish line. You know what I'm saying? Usually don't get lucky at the mall, but hey, I call this luck for me. Three pair, two for me. Went to do an exchange. I might come back with something different on that exchange later. Didn't get the exchange, but you know what I'm saying? We're growing a collection. I actually have the original retro of these. If I can find them in the storage, I'll do a video on those. But comment down below. Let me know how you feel about these retros. Are you, do you even mess with the mids? Do you mess with the lows? It's like, I might be the mid god after this thing over. That's all I've been able to cop, really. I haven't been able to cop the highs since I've jumped back in these sneaker waters but young Google the god sneaker hunter i appreciate everybody for watching the videos like subscribe comment down below tell a friend you know what i'm saying we're getting a pop of sneaker hunters young Google the god peace out